Good morning, Bam. Jamil and I are on the, on the Las Vegas Strip early, early this morning. We are outside of Paris Hotel, and we are going to be going to Mon Ami Gabi, which is a French restaurant. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we are here early morning for their breakfast items. We hear they're very, very delicious. We've always wanted to try it, and we're gonna try to get an outdoor seat. It sits right across from the Bellagio Fountains, so we're hoping to get the best seat in the house. So come on in and let's see what they have to offer. just sat down at Mon Ami Gabi and I do have to say that the service is really, really amazing. The waiter was very, very friendly, uh, introduced us to the menu, told us what the specials were today. So apparently they have a crepe of the day kind of thing and it's like a bananas foster. So I think we have to get that. Uh, but they served us right away. They got us some ice water. They got us some fresh coffee. So we're super, super excited. So we're gonna order in a little bit and then start eating. Okay, fam, before we order, I just wanted to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the menu. Um, it looks like they, they really specialize in like egg dishes. Uh, they have some um, eggs benedicts, quite a few different variety of those. Uh, they also have some really good looking waffles, of course crepes, and some French toast. I think we're gonna go with the French toast. I think we're doing that with the blueberries. A lot of other YouTubers did it, so I think we're going that route and we can't wait. So we had already ordered some coffee and we just had ice water, so we didn't want to get any mimosas, but the waiter Manuel totally talked us into it and we are so excited. So over here, I got a pineapple mimosa and then Jamil, who doesn't even drink alcohol hardly, um, he couldn't resist the strawberry mimosa. I have a feeling that this is going to be really, really incredible. Exactly. When in Paris, right? When in Paris. Here we go. Best pineapple mimosa. Really? Delicious. Now, have you had other pineapple mimosas in your life? I have. Yeah, okay. And this is very, very good. They put a good amount of champagne in there. Okay. Hint of pineapple. It's absolutely delicious. Sometimes they do too much, like juice and just a little bit of champagne, but they definitely don't skip you on the champagne here. Awesome, awesome. I'm so okay, excited. Do you want me to try your strawberry yes, one? Oh, okay. I want to get your professional opinion on it. Okay. Here's a strawberry one. Here we go. Oh, really good. very refreshing. Awesome. I think you're gonna like this one a lot. I think you can. Right I think you can handle one mimosa. Okay, guys, you know I don't really drink, but you know what? I was like, why not? Just try it out. When in Paris, the guy, the like I said, Manuel, the waiter, made it sound really good. So let's try it out. It's good. Not a big fan of the actual alcohol itself, but this is a good balance. It's not too strong. The strawberry flavor really comes out. Like you said, it's very refreshing. I'll try mine. Okay, cool. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk over here. Mm. Oh, yours is really good. You like it? I love the pineapple. That's good. I never tried. I've taken sips of like regular orange mimosas and maybe a couple other ones, but I've never tried pineapple. I don't think that's really good. Nice. Yeah, that's the one to get. So we just got our food. Our waiters are so amazing. We had multiple people bring out our food because we got a lot of stuff. And the food came out pretty, pretty fast. So I want to show you what I got. I got the smoked salmon eggs benedict. I asked for the hollandaise sauce on the side. So it comes with smoked salmon, a poached egg, some chives, over a English muffin. And then the side here is some roasted tomatoes. So I'm really excited to dig in. Let's see how this tastes. Ooh, that's like Perfect, too. Perfect poached egg. I love the little pieces of chive on here. This should add a good amount of flavor. Oh, this is gonna be a crazy bite. Hold on. I'm gonna have to half this. Okay, there we go. So that is that. Look at that. I'm about to go for the first bite. Here we go. Thank you. I want to see those crystallized. Oh! I failed. It's a very messy bite. Absolutely delicious. That smoked salmon is perfect. Almost reminds me of like 
you know, and you get like a breakfast bagel with the lox and everything. The creaminess of the hollandaise sauce and the creaminess of that poached egg, it's absolutely unbelievable. I'm gonna go again for another bite because the first bite was hectic. So let's try this again. So what I like to do is I like to dip the fork in the hollandaise. So you just get a little bit on here and then you go for your bite. Did you make that up now? No, I do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. There we go. Oh. Two is better. 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't have got the salmon one, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it on anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna try Kristen's out, see how it is. I think you'll like it. Let me go ahead and cut it. And you have to dip it in the hollandaise. This is how you dip it. You dip <laughs> it like that. Not with just your fork. Here we go. Oh, the salmon's good. Right? Honestly, very flavorful. Actually, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'm not mad at it. Let me do one more bite. Just get one more since you, you got me it. on camera. You one more bite. Get it in there. Here we go. Mm. Honestly, two thumbs up on that one. It's so good. So I got mine as well. I got the spicy andouille sausage, Benedict, eggs Benedict, right? So similar to Kristen's, obviously, instead I got andouille sausage. You guys, this looks so good. It has the hollandaise sauce on it. I didn't get a side of hollandaise sauce, I just realized, but that's okay, you asked for the side, right? You didn't ask for a side. That's what it was, no worries. I don't need it on the side. I like mine on top like a normal person. <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go for this. Without further ado. Are you ready? Yep. And normally Jamil isn't into poached eggs. You know, I feel like I'm becoming a new person. Oh, they did yours better because yours isn't as runny and you like that. Oh, you're right. I feel it's like, like they read my mind. I feel like they knew you energetically. They read my mind. <laughs> I see why the first bite, your first bite was a little tough. Yes. I got a little bit extra on mine too, but I'm going for this whole piece. Let's try it out. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. This hollandaise sauce is way above average. It's, it's so much, it's some of the best I've ever had. Usually when I get um, Eggs Benedict, the hollandaise sauce kind of lets me down a little bit. I feel like it just doesn't have the right flavor. This one is perfect. It goes extremely well with the andouille sausage. The spice level isn't too bad. I would say spice level, it's like a two or a three, which is perfect, but that poached egg is perfect. I'm loving it, guys. Okay, it's time for you to try mine. Okay, can I say something before you take a bite? Hey, please. I think you're gonna like mine better than I like yours. Okay. That's just a guess. We're gonna see. I really do. Because you reamed mine, <laughs> and you took two bites, so no, let's really see. Good. This is very good. We'll see how good yours is. Okay. I'm gonna make sure you get the whole bite this time. Good job. Mm. I told you. I told you those Christmas things were gonna That sausage mm -hmm. is so good. I know. I think I do like yours a little bit better. <laughs> you know what? It depends on the mood that you're in. Mm. If you're in the mood for salmon, you're gonna like it better. If you're in the mood for sausage in the morning, you're gonna like mine better. You know? It's not even like, it has a little kick to it yeah. with spice, but it's not even that spicy. It's really, really delicious. Very good. Okay. It's good, I know. Mm. I know. Honestly, I would get this one again every time. Mm. This is like a 20 out of 10. Okay, cool. Very good. As before we go on to the French toast, I completely forgot to talk about the bacon. You guys, look how huge this bacon is. It's massive. Honestly, this is some of the best bacon I think I've ever had. I don't know what flavor this is, but it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's a really thick cut. Mm -hmm. It's very meaty and it's mm -hmm. delicious. So is that whipped cream too? Yep, we got whipped cream and fresh blueberries. Is this whipped cream or is it butter? Hold on, before I pour on all, I was literally about to pour all this on. Let's make sure, let's see what this is. Whipped cream. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, let's not pour yeah, all the butter on. Steak, oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you want to have the first bite? No, I want you to have the first bite. Okay, then I. I'm very ready for this first bite. Though. 
Of course. And you know, let me ask you this. Do you think it needs syrup? I could always use syrup. Does it need it? No. But would I use it? Yes. Okay, cool. We might have to ask for some. All right, here we go. I've been waiting for the last like 30 minutes for this, guys. <laughs> this is way too big of a bite, but I'm going for it anyways. Ooh. It's very good. One more bite. Now, I do gotta admit, I didn't say this. I'm not a massive blueberry fan when it comes to French toast and pan pancakes. To me, the blueberries are a little too strong. But with that said, it's delicious. But I gotta try it with some syrup. This is what it's all about. Yes, we're big syrup fans. We're big syrup fans. Here we go. Mm. Right off the bat. I think it's the next level for me. Just that, next level. You gotta try this with syrup. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> I do think that the syrup yeah. for us adds it because we does. love to ha have some syrup on here. But you know, if you guys don't want it too syrupy, because some people don't, you don't need it. It's true. But it, it's not necessary for sure. Right. But we just love syrup. We're big syrup fans. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, guys. Very good. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, finish up eating, hey, get the menu, and we're gonna do a final little wrap up. Yeah, okay. So we just finished our breakfast at Mon Ami Gabby, and it was absolutely incredible you guys delicious the service we have to talk about the service first of all they are so so good i mean they always check on you we got checked on at least like five at times least, yeah, five to least, ten yeah. times while we were there um and then they're always good as soon as you're done with the play they ask if you want them to take it so i just felt like they were very attentive which was really really good the quality of the food, absolutely excellent. Everything was super, super fresh, really delicious. You felt like you were just getting a very good fine dining experience, but yeah. without feeling uncomfortable. Sure. Sometimes if I go to two fine dining, I feel uncomfortable, I so, but I didn't feel that there or here. Everybody was really, 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 really nice, so. Yeah, I definitely have to say the service is what really made this, that took it to the next level. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, at first, the menu, I was thinking it was a little small, mm -hmm. but you know, after eating what we got, yeah. I'm just like, it's perfect. Like, you yeah. don't need a big menu, you just need to get the right options, yes. you know? So, go And ahead. we have to say shout out to Sue and Mike, yes. um, who were a couple that were sitting next to us, and they introduced themselves, yeah. and so we told them about our channel, so now they're subscribed, so thank Absolutely. you so much for becoming a part of the KJ fam. Awesome. And we also want to shout out Gabriel, yes. who's one of the waiters who already uh, has followed us and he knew who we were so that's right that was that's exciting right. overall you guys this was a great experience mm -hmm. um, but we want to talk about pricing really quick yes price now, points yes now overall we spent a hundred and twenty seven dollars yeah overall that's without tip um, that was just the price point now we did get not just a lot of food which we did get a lot of food but we also got two alcoholic drinks yes. and one soda and two coffees so we did actually get a lot of things and a side of bacon a side of oh, hash yeah. browns and then like three meals that's so like right. we definitely went in we, we have leftovers did. we brought them home exactly so that's really nice so we got a lot of stuff so we just want to preface that that's exactly right the ex benedict by itself was just 20 bucks yeah I think that's good for where you are. You're out right on the strip. That's right. And you're out sitting outside in a beautiful ambiance. That's exactly right. So ultimately, guys, the experience was great. We loved it. We definitely would come back again. Oh, yeah. Uh, we recommend it. If you do come into town, into Vegas, uh, if you're here early enough for breakfast, please try it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Absolutely. Ask to so, sit outside. It's definitely the best yes. seat in the house. Exactly. Definitely do that. Okay, you guys. All right, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharon is caring. Let your friends, family know what the Kate and J-Fam are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out,